Grammar 4, Chapter 12, Noun Clauses, Part 1. Now, noun clauses beginning with a question word. In a noun clause, the subject comes before the verb. So let's take a quick look at this uh, example before we continue. In a noun clause, the subject comes before the verb. So always the subject will come before the verb in a noun clause, all the time. Now sentences can vary, uh, and that's what we're going to look at right now. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's take a look at a question. Where does he live? And the noun clause, I don't know where he lives. Question, what did he say? And the noun clause, I couldn't hear what she said, but specifically the noun clause would be what she said. This is the object of the verb here. Please note that we learned earlier that the subject comes before the verb. Question, when do they go to class? And the noun clause, do you know when they go to class? This would be the object of the verb know. Now, in the examples below, the word order is the same in both the question and the noun clause. Because who is the subject in both? Let's take a look at some examples. Who lives there? I don't know who lives there. We could see the subject, who, and the verb lives. And the noun clause is who lives there. Who is outside? I don't know who, who is outside. And the noun clause is who is outside. Be careful. Does, did, and do are used in questions, but not in noun clauses. Noun clauses beginning with a question word. In a noun clause, the subject comes before the verb. Let's take a look at some examples. Who are those people? And the noun clause, I don't know who those people are. Those people is the subject of the question. So it, be, so it comes before the verb in the noun clause. Whose car is that? I wonder whose car that is. A noun clause subject always takes a singular verb. Question, what should he study? And the noun clause, what he should study is up to him. Noun clauses beginning with whether or if. When a yes or no question is changed to a noun clause, whether or if is used to introduce the clause. Examples. Question, will he come? Answer, I don't know whether he will come. I don't know if he will come. I wonder whether or not he will come. I wonder whether he will come or not. I wonder if he will come or not. Whether he comes or not is unimportant to me. Examples. Does she need help? I wonder whether she needs help. I wonder if she needs help. Whether is more common than if in formal English, but whether and if are commonly used in speaking. Please note, when a yes or no question is changed to a noun clause, whether or if is used to introduce the clause. Now, let's see what introduces the clause in these specific situations. If we look here, whether, as you can see, introduces whether he will come. If introduces he will come. Whether or not introduces the rest of the clause. And here we have whether introducing the rest of the clause of or not. And if is introducing or not. Whether he comes or not is unimportant to me. Whether she needs help. If she needs help. Keep in mind that whether or if is used to introduce the clause.